guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new cheesecake creamer. Have you guys seen this? Um, if you guys haven't, um, I just watched a YouTube video of someone trying it and they say it's really good and that it smells like strawberry milk. You can get the strawberry cheesecake or you can get the dulce de leche caramel one. If you guys want to know what I'm going to think it tastes like, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so I... Funny story about this is when I was trying to find it, I saw, I looked online, Walmart, Target, and Hy-Vee to see what flavors they had. And I was going to get both of them because I want to try both. But I really wanted to get the caramel one because um, I love caramel. So I went to Walmart first and they had the strawberry one. And then they didn't have the caramel one though. So um, Walmart and Target are right across from each other from where I live. So I hopped over to Target really quick. Target didn't have any. And so I was like, okay, last resort is Hy-Vee. I went to Hy-Vee, they didn't have any. So the only kind I got is the strawberry cheesecake. So this is what the bottle looks like. Very pretty and original with their different color logos on them and everything. Um, so like I said, I got strawberry cheesecake. And we're gonna put it to the test to see if we like it or not. I'm hoping it's really good because I spent $3 on it and I don't wanna waste it. So let's see if it's good. Okay, so we are at my Keurig right here, as you guys can tell. And I'm going to be adding water into this. And right here we can tell. And I have a clean mug right here, so we're just going to add the water in. So that's about 8 to 10 fluid ounces. It's like right in the... Let's see. Okay, it's actually at 8 fluid ounces, so that is good. So we're going to shut this. Well, actually, this is cool. So now that we have the water in, we're going to have to lift this up and watch this. All the water is gone very cool concept but you once you do that you shut that you so once that's done we're gonna put um a K cup in and I'm gonna do the breakfast blend um, this is um, the one that doesn't have any artificial flavor in it it's light so that is good we're going to push that down and then we're gonna hit power on and it's going to say that we need to add water and uh, which we've already added water, so we just let that shut that again. And then now it's blinking. So I'm just going to put my cute little cup up here that says my best friend has four paws. And I'm just gonna hit brew. And then this red light comes on, that means don't turn it on, don't like touch it, nothing. Um, and then you can start hearing it get super hot, and then it's going to make our good coffee. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Probably like that much. So now we're going to open this up. Okay, so I just took the lid off of this. Oh my gosh, this smells like strawberry milk. She was right. It smells so good. So I'm gonna put the lid back on here. Okay, the lid's on. So the lid is on and I just popped it open, so we're just going to pour it in. It's probably enough, I don't wanna get so much. So now I'm gonna smell it. And it doesn't, Okay, it does kind of smell like strawberries, to be honest. But, I mean, it's not like that horrible strawberry smell. So, we're going to just taste it. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about this. Just because it tastes like cheesecake and strawberries but then it doesn't I don't know I just added a little bit more because I want to see what it's going to taste like more 
So let's try it with a little bit more. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not like one of those horrible flavors. I mean, it's still good. It's just with the coffee and the... I think it kind of has like an aftertaste in a way. So I think it has an aftertaste to it in a way, but it's still really good. Okay, so I'm going to pour some in a spoon, and I'm just going to try the creamer itself. So I have a little spoon here full of it. I'm just going to try it out. Okay, so it's not bad. It tastes really good, actually. The only downfall is, is I think it's giving you, like, and it's not, like, a strong, um, like I was saying earlier, it's not, like, a strong strawberry taste. It's a very light strawberry taste. I think it's just the, um, cheesecake and the, um, crumbs that is making it taste kind of weird. So I'm not for sure if it was that or if it's something else, but I'm super excited to try the caramel one. Once I find that one in stores, I'm going to try that, and I will let you guys know down in the comments um, if it is good or not. But so far, this coffee is not bad. I mean, it's not something I would drink every single day, but if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up. And if you guys want me to try different things, let me know down in the comments below so I can try those out for you guys and do a video on them. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.